Hi, I'm here at CES at the Samsung stand with Ben Halcombe from Samsung Australia, as you're about to find out from his accent. So, Ben, very good to meet you. Good to meet you as well. And you have in your hands the, the revolutionary, I'm told, Samsung NX10. Absolutely. It is, it is the perfect combination of, of a compact camera and a digital SLR. It has the best of both worlds. And that's really where this product is, is aimed at, is, is hitting that in-between market. A lot of people these days have a, a digital SLR and have a compact camera. And a lot of the time they understand that a digital SLR gives them better image quality but they like the portability of their compact camera. So what they're aiming for is something that does both worlds, and that's really where this camera comes into play. Okay, so could you just give us a little hands-on tour of the camera itself? Okay, the biggest feature of the camera is actually the sensor that's inside it. It is an APS-C sensor, and it is a mirrorless interchangeable lens camera. So what we've done is we've taken the mirror box and the prism out of the camera, given it an electronic viewfinder, which makes it physically much smaller and less, and less space. So this is something now that I could put in my pocket if I wanted to. With a digital SLR, there is no way you can put it in your pocket. They take up so much space. And that's where the camera really comes into play. One of the other good things about the camera is the screen. It's an AMO LED screen, a three inch screen, very high resolution. And you can see by the looking, if we look some images on the back here, you can see that the, the screen is just lovely. With an AMO LED screen, it's much higher in contrast ratio and it's able to see more colors. So when you take it out in the bright sunlight, it's just beautiful to view. Okay, and in terms of the actual functions of the camera itself, is it very similar to a digital SLR? It has all the functionality. If we look at the control dial on the top, it has all the functions of a DSLR. So it has program, aperture priority, shutter priority, manual, all the things you'd look for in a DSLR. What it also has is all your scene programs, so that if you aren't someone that knows about photography, you can still use the camera. What it also has is smart auto, auto scene recognition, so that if you have no understanding of what you're doing and you want the camera to do everything for you, put it on smart auto and the camera goes to work. One other great feature is it does HD movie. So with the HD movie feature, we also have HDMI output on the side of the camera there. So you've got the HDMI slot there, so you can plug that into any HDMI TV. And if it happens to be a Samsung TV, you can then make use of any net control, which is one remote control to control both devices. And you say HD video, and what sort of frames per second are you talking about? So it's 30 there? frames per second and records in 720p. 720p, okay. Uh, and what about the actual resolution of the camera itself? It's a 14.6 million pixel CMOS sensor. So it's, as I said, an APS-C sensor, but 14.6 million pixels, the image quality is just beautiful. Okay, one final question. What would you say to uh, someone who's thinking of buying a DSLR, why should they buy this instead? Because you're more likely to carry this around. A DSLR, you're more likely to leave in your bag and go, I don't want to carry a heavy bag today. This you can carry anywhere, it's portable. Okay, Ben, thank you very much. Thank you.